Hi everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to solve a Venn diagram question. So our first question, we have a box with numbers in it. In circle A, we have 8, 14, and 10. And in circle B, we have 1 and 3. And in the middle, this is what is called an intersection. And the numbers we have in the intersection is called 2, 4, 6, and 12. And the numbers out on the box or outside the circles are 9, 13, 11, 7, and 5. Our first question says, list the members of the set A intersection B. So when we say intersection or this sign, we basically mean what's inside the middle or what's, what are the numbers in the middle of the circles. And in this case, our numbers are 2, 4, 6, and 12. Our second question says, list the members of the set B, and you can see a little apostrophe sign. When we say and B and that apostrophe sign, or this sign, we usually mean what is not included in B. And so we're gonna write down what is not included in B. So in this case, our answers would be everything that is not in circle B. And that would be, and that will include also the intersection. Because remember, the intersection is also part of B and is part of A. And since the intersection numbers are part of B, and this says B apostrophe, which means we should not include any number in B, then we should not include them. So B, B, B apostrophe basically means any number but B. So in this case, our numbers or our answer would be 8, 14, 10, 9, 13, 11, 7, and 5. Our final question says, a number is picked at random from the numbers in the Venn diagram. Find the probability that this number is in set A but is not in set B. So basically what this question is telling us find the probability that this number is in set A and is not in set B. So first of all, to find the probability, we're gonna have to find uh, like everything in, 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 in general. So in general, in all of this, we have 14 numbers, okay? We have three numbers in A, and we have six numbers, in B. So there and there are five numbers outside A and B. A and I'm just gonna put comma B. So in general, we have three numbers in A, six numbers in B, and five numbers outside of A and B. And what our question asks us is find the probability that this number is in set A and is not in set B. So what we shouldn't include here is we should remove the six numbers in B because they ask us in not B. And we should remove the five numbers outside of A and B as uh, they only ask us for the set in A. So what leaves us are the three numbers that we have in A. And since we have 14 numbers, we're gonna have to do three over 14. And that's gonna be our answer for the probability of the set numbers in A and not in B.